Recently, I printed a model from uh, Diablo 4 for a friend of mine, and I printed this piece here. This is Diablo's skull, and I messed up. The supports failed on it, so I had to reprint it. So I've been wanting to try this uh, rub and buff um, kind of like paint application um, on these 3D models. So I decided, you know, if this is uh, it failed anyway, so might as well give it a go on this one. So I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos on how to apply this. This will be me trying to go through for the first time, you know, trying to use this based off of what I've uh, seen on online on how to use it. So uh, yeah, stick around and, and we'll see what the, the final result looks like. It should be pretty cool from the, the models that I have seen. So coming off of the 3D printer, um, I have an Anacubic Mono X resin printer and this is what it looks like coming off the print. This is the one that that didn't fail. It printed correctly. So it's uh, I printed it in a gray um, resin. It's made by uh, Yusu. It's the iForm 182 and it's a a ABS like resin. So it should be uh, relatively strong. So came out really nice. Um, so yeah, it came out gray, but when you apply the rub and buff, from what I've seen, you need to have it the black color so it gives it that antique look. So it highlights, you know, the shadows and stuff. So what I did is I went went to the hardware store. I picked up some of this primer here, red oxide primer. Um, it was like you know a couple five bucks for the the can. So I applied, you know, I sprayed one coat on that just to cover everything, make sure I don't, you know, none of the gray was showing through. This takes about, 20, it says 25 minutes to dry. I left it for a while um, just to make sure that it, it dried. And then later I came back, once that was dry, with a flat black um, over top of that. And I'm not sure if I was supposed to, you know, give it a sand lightly sand it or not. I didn't sand it. I just applied it straight over over top. So hopefully, you know, it shouldn't chip off. I will go over at the end. Um, I think I'm going to use a matte clear on top of it. So it should protect it from uh, being dinged up or scratched or anything. So that's how I got it, you know, from, from this stage here to this stage here where it's ready to have the uh, the rub and buff applied to it. So for the materials I have, you know, I have the two rub and buff, or they make different colors, I guess, but I have the gold leaf and the silver leaf. And, you know, I'm just gonna try, what it, see what it looks like with using both of them. So for the skull, the head itself, I'm gonna apply, uh, I think, the gold onto it and then the the silver onto the horns and we'll see what that looks like I am wearing gloves I I heard this stuff you don't want to get it on your your hands because it can irritate it or irritate your skin um, and I'll also be wearing uh, I have a like a mask to wear uh, just because I heard the fumes also can irritate your, can, you know, cause irritation. So gonna go ahead and follow, the, you know, the safety precautions for uh, using this stuff. I have a couple of these, I stole these from my wife, um, like these makeup applicators that I'll be using to apply the, um, the compound. And then I have two different size Q-tips just to get in to, you know, all the, the s s tight areas with, with these. And that's all I have for the material. I did order, so I have the bigger, the full size statue. I'm gonna do this. Um, he wanted he wanted it in gold. Um, and I ordered some, you know, some sponges and some other items that I, I saw that other folks were using um, on some of the other videos. 
So I can link those down below um, of what I purchased to um, do the larger statue. But for right now, this is what I have. So what I saw on some other videos is that you just need a tiny, tiny bit on you know what you're applying it to or where you're applying it on. And I don't want it to be super shiny because if you use a lot of this, you can really get it super shiny. So what they do is they put like a dab here and then they kind of blotch it, like, you know, dab it off, somewhat of it off to leave just a little bit on there and then uh, rub over the, um, the model. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and try that and see what it looks like. Hopefully it'll turn out good. Um, so let's let's go ahead and see what what it looks like. So you can see there's a gold there. All right, I'm gonna make sure I don't have anything on my hands. And then what they say to do is just gently kind of brush over and. Cause you don't want to like scrub it, I guess. And you're going to get, you know, you're going to hide the shadow lines, like everything that should have a shadow. So, um, I'm just going to gently go over it and let's see what it, it looks like. It takes, take a little bit more maybe off of there. It's too much. Looks pretty cool actually already. So you could see see already starting to highlight those like the dark spots and bring out the the highlights. It looks really cool. I'm just barely like picking up any so you could see on my here I just put a little bit and I'm just grabbing a little bit and dabbing it off and then using that what I have. So now I'm just going over some of the areas with a clean section of the sponge and just I guess buffing it in. Um, see what that looks like. So I probably shouldn't use this because it's leave I can see it's leaving fibers, but I don't think they're gonna stick to it. I'll that's why I think you should use a probably a sponge that's not gonna leave any fibers off from the you know the applicator. Wow, that looks awesome. I'm just trying to be careful not to touch any section that uh, is going to be silver. Now I'm switching to just a Q-tip to get into some of the tighter spots. I guess there's no really right or wrong way to apply this is just do it you know however you think it looks good so i'm just going back over some parts so you can see it looks pretty awesome wow that's cool Seems like once the stuff is on there, like you're not getting it off. So you need to just be careful where you put it. Um, Cause it seems like it bonds right, like instantaneously to the, to the model. So. So. I think I'm done with 
the gold. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit it with the silver. So I'm just going to do the same thing and brush over with the silver. And I'll kind of highlight the, the ridges and stuff. Yeah, these applicators, I wouldn't recommend using uh, cotton. I would, I would probably use um, some kind of sponge or something because this is, it's kind of shredding the cotton off and messing it up a little bit. So there you can see, that looks cool. <sighs> I don't know, is this, con is this considered painting, I guess? Or is this cheating? Uh, you tell me. But uh, it looks pretty awesome. So I'm just being careful not to touch any of the, you know, the gold spots that I don't want. To, uh, to uh, you know, I don't want to ruin what I just did previously. But it looks like you can go right over top of the gold so that's good so I'm kind of like just cleaning up the lines so I'm just going over one more time just on um, putting another kind of layer on and highlighting some sections but man that looks cool like you see before and then after there that's pretty awesome. All right, I'll try to finish the other side. This is a lot easier than I thought. I thought it would be difficult or, you know, learning some kind of learning curve, but that's uh, it's pretty straightforward. So you just got to make sure that you, you don't have too much on there to get the look that you want. Because, yeah, once it's on, like, it's not coming off. There's no way. Like, I can go back and I can rub back on this, and it's not even, there's nothing coming off on it. On the, uh, the sponge, or the cotton that I have here. It's nice that it doesn't come off, because you're constantly moving around it, the, uh, the model, and, you know, you don't have to worry about it, you, you know, smearing it, or getting it onto parts that you don't want it to get onto, so that's actually pretty cool, nice. I really, I think that I like the gold leaf better than the silver, but, um, but they're both really awesome. Kind of touched some of the gold. I'm going to go back and just take a little bit go back over one spot I accidentally touched with the, the silver yeah it just yeah it touches right up so awesome wow okay check that out So you could see some of the pits from the supports. I didn't clean this one up. I just kind of, I knew it failed. So I just ripped the supports off of it. I didn't take my time, but that is awesome. I might get in this area a little bit more. All right, that is awesome. Wow. All right, well, as you can see, I mean, it wasn't, it was actually pretty easy um, to do this. I can link these, um, you know, the tubes that I use down below. I think, I want to say they're like $20 a, 
a tube. Um, I'm not sure. I, I'd have to look, but you could see that I barely use. I mean that that tube will last forever. Um, and uh, yeah, it was easy. I just watched, like I said, I, I watched a couple of YouTube videos on on how um, you know how they applied it. And yeah, I think one was Uncle Jesse. I watched him. I watch a lot of his, and he like that's where I got the idea. You know, to spray it with primer and then coat it with black and then you can apply it and then there was another uh another youtuber that that i watched i forgot his name but um i can link that down below too so because yeah it's really easy and the results are awesome so anyway hope you enjoyed that video um yeah give it a try i mean it's it's I don't know how to paint at all, and this looks professional, I would say. Um, so maybe it's cheating, I don't know, but whatever. <laughs> I'll cheat I'll, if, if it comes out like that. So anyway, yeah, give it give it a try. It'll They make different um, other colors of these, like other tints, um, silvers and blacks and golds, coppers and stuff like that. So. Um, check those out and yeah let me know below if you you know if you have any tips or tricks on using this if I you know messed up or didn't apply it right or if there's a better way to apply it let me know down below and yeah stick around for the next video and I really appreciate you guys checking this one out so thanks